A man sees his freedom for the first time after spending more than 18 years behind bars for a murder he did not commit. And Fox says Ashley Rodriguez was inside the Brooklyn courtroom as Sheldon Thomas had his conviction overturned. Thirty-five-year-old Sheldon Thomas walks down the hallway of the Brooklyn Supreme Court Thursday, a free man for the first time in 19 years. I waited a long time to for this day to happen. Thomas was sent to prison as a 17-year-old on Christmas Eve in 2004. Thomas and three alleged gang members were charged with killing 14-year-old Anderson Bercy and wounding another in East Flatbush. Today we uh, correct that miscarriage. I apologized. Uh, for the role that my office has played. Brooklyn Conviction Review Unit found Thomas was arrested based on the ID of a different person with the same name. The Brooklyn DA says the mistake was first concealed and then explained away during the proceedings. Investigators conclude the detectives were intent on arresting Thomas. When I was sentenced, Del Judas said that I deserve to spend the rest of my life in prison that I was a menace to society. He was wrong. I didn't deserve what happened. And I forgive him. There were a lot of lessons that I think we learned from this case. Uh, and this is a prime example of why the Conviction Review Unit was established. Thomas's attorneys say Brooklyn's Conviction Review Unit is a model for the nation. The unit has reversed 34 convictions since 2014. What are you going to eat when you get home? Some oxtails. I asked Thomas's attorneys whether he's entitled to any compensation. They said they're not there quite yet. Right now, they're just focused on getting him his basic needs. Being in jail for the last 18 years has denied him training and education. They have to find him a job, get him housing and health insurance. They have started to go fund me to help him out in the meantime. In Brooklyn, Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 5 News.